I'm Carrie with American Clay, and today this short video is going to be talking about sealers. Um, I am not a big fan of sealing an American Clay wall under most circumstances, but I'm going to give an example as to when I did seal a wall in my own house, so that if you are considering sealers, you'll have some questions that you can ask and some things to consider before you decide to do it. Um, and then I'll show you how I sealed my walls. So um, I had an American clay wall in my bathroom about two years ago, and I applied it myself, and I intentionally left it unsealed to see how it did over time, see what the wear and tear was like. And behind my sink, I had no backsplash, so my sink backed right up to the American clay wall, and I would wash my face there every night. So at the end of the night, there would be a bead of water that would be up against the back of the wall that would sort of sit there. So I noticed over time that the clay would erode a little bit. So I did a repair, and then I decided that I would seal just that area. I'm not a fan of sealing largely because our clay has a lot of benefits when it's left unsealed. It makes it much easier to repair, and clay naturally mitigates moisture and humidity in a space. So that moisture is not trapped in your drywall, you'll be less likely to have mold and mildew growth in an area that has humidity, so I wanted to leave it unsealed as much as I could. So what I decided to do was just to seal that area where I saw that there was erosion. And so I'm going to demonstrate now how I did it. So we sell a couple of different types of sealer, and I only have one of them here, but um, we have a gloss sealer and a penetrating sealer, and either one will work. Um, depending on how you apply them, they can have a slightly different effect, but the way that I will be demonstrating the application today, you would likely get a very similar result. So you start with a bottle of sealer, and then you have a typical spray bottle that you would buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or any type of hardware store. And I started out with just a little bit of water, and then I added the equivalent amount of sealer, so that it's 50% sealer and 50% water, and then I just shook it up to integrate those two things together. So, and then I took a look at my sink, and this is a little bit different than my bathroom, but for all intents and purposes, it will serve pretty well for this video. So, in my bathroom, I cleaned the area that I was going to be sealing, made sure it was free of dust, and then I took the sealer, and I sprayed the wall. And you can see I'm being somewhat lazy with it. And if you get sealer somewhere that you don't want it, you can take a sponge while it's wet and wipe it up. And once that dries, you can apply it once or twice more so that you'll get the level of um, the sealed surface that you're looking for. The more sealer you apply, the more likely you'll actually see a sealer on your wall. The way that I sealed my walls, I didn't see it at all, so I couldn't tell that it was sealed. It didn't affect the appearance. The benefit that I did get is that the erosion stopped in the area where the water was sitting on the wall. That's typically where you'll have trouble with your American clay. It's not if it gets splashed with water, and actually I'll demonstrate that as well. You can take a fair amount of water. That won't necessarily hurt your wall. It's when you're spraying the wall consistently that you will then notice erosion. Or if water is sitting on the wall and doesn't have a way to get out of the surface, that's when you'll have trouble. So the area where I was getting the water is now sealed, and I won't have to worry about the erosion there. So I appreciate you watching. I hope that answers some questions about whether or not to seal and under what circumstances. If you have more questions, you're welcome to call us here at the office.